Welcome to another edition of Oracle Expert Guides. Today we're going to talk about bank account transfers in Oracle R12. First we will go over some of the configurations and then we will take a look at the process that's involved for executing a bank account to bank account transfer. We will look at the steps necessary to get the accounting to happen and then take a look at the accounting. Finally, we look at the journal entry in the general ledger. Okay, so we'll use the Aegis super user responsibility. And we'll go over to setup. Accounting. And we'll query up a transacting legal entity and a transacting ledger. Okay, we got that selected. Click go. Key takeaway here is it's all set to all other, all other, all other. Let's look at update. Same again, all other, all other, all other. Let's look at define accounts. You will see there are accounts defined for intercompany receivables and intercompany payables. This is standard intercompany setup. It's got to be done. All right. Now let's take a look at intercompany balancing rules. We'll search on the ledger. And notice the cash management bank transfers parentheses one, source cash management bank transfer one for the category. Let's click on update. Outbev cash management, the source, bank transfers the category. All other, all other, you have a debit account and a credit account. Standard intra-company configuration. Let's click out of here. Now we'll go over to organizations. Let's search on the organization. Choose this legal entity. And the key takeaway here is that the intercompany classification is set to yes. We'll click on update. And you'll see it here. It's set to enabled. That's key. All right, with that done, we'll go do some cash management setups. First order of business is to set up a payment template. I have a couple of them here set up already, so we'll take a quick look at them. Click on update. Notice it has a code, currency, source account, destination account, authorized transaction, settle the transaction. Payment details, you could settle it by check, wire transfer, or automated transfer from the system. Okay, let's have a look at the other template. Temp code, description, account number, concentration, for example, here over to Citibank. If 
there is no internal payment method, I'll do it automatically by a phone call. Exit out of here. And go home. Now that we have a template, we can head off and do a bank account transfer using one of our templates. So the first thing we will do is query up the pay payment template. Select it, and all the information that was in the template has defaulted in. Give it a date, an amount, any comments, and as with any transfer, Give it a bank reference number. No payment details as this will not be settled through Oracle Payments. Apply. Details, source, destination, transfer date, status is new. We just got to validate it. Okay. It has been validated and the status is now settled. Look at some other details. Dig a little deeper, see if there's any validation errors. Again, not settled in Oracle payments. Let's look at the cash flows. This is for each side of the transaction. One for Citibank, one for Barclays. The amount. We can dig even deeper by clicking on one of the cash flow numbers. General information, bank account information, clearing information if it were cleared, accounting information. Let's look at the accounting details. At this point, there should be none in the sense that it hasn't been processed. You see unprocessed. Standard error, journal entries are not created. We haven't run create accounting. And if in, even if we have, run it, there will not be any journal entries until we clear the transaction. So at this point, we're going to run create accounting in order to demonstrate the fact that there are no accounting entries created for this transaction until the transaction has been reconciled. Okay, nothing fancy here. This is standard Oracle Create Accounting. We'll run it through.
we'll take a look at the details. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So let's exit out of here. We'll go back to this transaction and we'll take a look at the details at the transaction level. Just to absolutely confirm that there, there has been no activity back in here, back down to accounting details. Shows final accounted. Nothing happened. So let's go out to bank statements and do some manual clearing of both sides of this transaction. This is our transaction, Barclays. Citibank. Remember, both of these accounts belong to the same company. So we'll head off and we'll rerun Create Accounting now that we've cleared those two transactions. Just copy it. Okay, all set. doesn't run this fast, I actually fast forwarded the video so that we could get to this point quicker. Now this time you'll notice journal import is there. So let's look at the output. Okay, we've got some activity. We've got some journals. We have accounts. This is good stuff. So after reconciling and running Create Accounting, we will have our accounting details. Let's repeat the process. Let's go ahead and dig up that transaction again and we'll deep dive right down into the, well now we notice it's accounted, we'll dig down into the accounting details. Okay, final accounted. That's the first process. And here's bank account transfer cleared and not just created. So let's look at the journal entries. Lo and behold, full set of journal details. There's the journal entry name. So that wraps up that part of it. Let's go over to the general ledger. Let's look at the journal. Let's query that up. Let's review it. 
and here she is, the full set. Debits and credits, automated bank transfers in the system. Let's close all that out. So that does it for today. We hope that you found the video informative and useful. Thanks for watching.